everyone, welcome tankers to another episode of World of Tanks with PR154 and we're here in Berlin in our STA2 and we've uh, platooned up with a budgie named Bruce and J-Mash from the 7th Armoured Cavalry Clan uh, so shout out to you lads and thanks for having me on this platoon today. Um, we are, we're running our STA2, it's a premium tank because we're in the middle of the Golden Week event and during the Golden Week event of course we had a 50% discount on equipment and consumables so naturally uh, our credit positions were, uh, were squeezed down to nothing as, as we either sort of buy, uh, buy modules at a discount or, 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 uh, or buying consumables that we can bank and sell later if we need to draw on them for credits. Um, so uh, invariably when you have a lot of tier 8 tanks in the matchmaker you're still going to have a lot of uh, tier 10s that that want to uh, want to play games as well and so they then have opportunities to match the higher tier tanks with your tanks down at tier 8 and so you find yourself bottom tiered in plus 2 matchmaking now this is not automatically going to be a bad game for you, uh, you it is still very possible to do well while bottom tiered in plus two matchmaking. The trick is to just play a little bit more patiently and most importantly play to the role of your vehicle. Um, setting up on the field here in, in Berlin uh, it's always it's always a dangerous prospect because you never know what is on the other side. Um, even at this point most of the team is, is sort of taking up um, sniping positions waiting for the enemy to make the first move uh, even our Bachetion 12T is uh, uh, you know, not um, not exactly playing to its role as a light tank in, in this case either um, so uh, that that doesn't automatically mean that you should start playing aggressively and trying to fit a square peg in a round hole because that is that is how um, you have bad games in as bottom tier in plus two matchmaking. Now we're able to see that Panther 2 because our batch at 12T decided to make their move. Now I think they they might have um, might have uh, taken a bit of a hit for their for their efforts there. This play by the Ramatol Borsig Waffentrager um, a textbook example of what you shouldn't do in, in plus two um, plus two matchmaking. I had no idea why they uh, why they wanted to make that play. Um, but with the the Panther 2's location revealed, our Batshat 12T has sort of moved up. We've we've taken the the Rheimatal Borsig out of the equation, which let's face it, that tank can be quite a uh, quite a significant deterrent uh, when you know it's on when you know it's on your flank. Um, you are going to play a bit more cautiously. It's just something about being hit by those 15 centimeter German rounds that just uh, yeah, can keep you up at night. Um, Centurion 5-1's made an excellent play here. That that's a very good position to play from um, because you can you have a bush, you have hull down, and in the case of the Centurion 5 on 1, it has a very good turret as well as upper frontal plate. So um, textbook playing to the role of the vehicle there. Um, we're able to um, advance and, and pick up the uh, the enemy Batchat one Batchat 12T. I don't think we actually spotted that though. That might have been our Batchat that had. Um, had seen him on that occasion. Um, so nevertheless, um, we have uh, uh, six, seven tanks advancing through the field. So we uh, will press the offensive. Um, tried to try to draw a beat on the Strav S1, but that wasn't wasn't quite happening. So uh, onwards we push. Uh, the enemy M46 pattern has reappeared and uh, appears to be falling back to consolidate with its teammates. And uh, it look by the th looks of things, they they could do with all the help they can get. They're um, on it. My goodness, they just lost a couple of guns quite quickly. I was about to say, they're, they're, they're five guns down. It's going to be a disaster for them. But no, they're two, uh, two sort of quick kills between the IS-32 and the T-110E3 on our team. We push forward. We find the, an Object 430 lurking at the back and managed to, uh, managed to guide a couple of shells in its general direction. Um, but it's sort of pushing back pushing back into this corner. Um, granted, evading fire, but not really in a way that it can contribute to the battle, um, leaving this, this M46 pattern all on its lonesome. So he places a shot into it, set it on fire, but the automatic fire extinguisher kicks in and uh, ruins all our fun. Um, 
but with um, uh, with STA2 at, at, at one end and the um, rest of my team at the other, it didn't really stand much of a chance in that little in that little ditch. Um, so we'll creep up on this uh, on this object 430. Let's see if we can see if we can spot it, uh, be it by uh, by proximity or uh, or by a direct line of sight. And there it is, not the uh, not the healthiest hit point position. Uh, we place a tracking shot into its front front left track and um, collect a bit of collect a bit of spotting damage and then uh, shut it down in turn. You see the uh, object 7032 is our next uh, our next potential target. Spot, shot, and uh, and track it, um, which hopefully hopefully if it remains tracked and in place, we will start to collect a bit of assist damage for our um, uh, sort of poorly aimed. Uh, a bit like that one, actually. <laughs> Poor, poorly aimed shot, but um, still, still effective. Has done some wonders for our um, uh, for, for those figures that that uh, make it appear that we've uh, we've contributed to the battle. Um, our team is on the cap circle now, so the best thing we can do is try to uh, try to create as much distance as we can between enemy tanks and our friends on the cap circle. Um, because the last thing we want is a f is a inopportune artillery shell landing on them. So, do we manage to hit the M4043? No, he ducks out of cover, and the Batch at 12T moves in to take it. Can we get a shot in on the uh, T110E3 before the uh, before the cap finishes? No, we don't. Um, so that's game for us. Let's uh, let's go and take a look at the results. And that's victory for us in the STA21 Berlin. Um, uh, on the face of it, not not an amazing result. I, you know, and we're not acing anything, but it's still a level two mastery, and we've come away with the fire for effect badge, which uh, you should be you should be trying to do as a medium tank, particularly when uh, something like the STA2, where uh, its DPM is one of its most redeeming features. In this case, we've been able to uh, score. At nearly 2,000 hit points of damage. Um, we've managed to cause one kill upon the enemy team and uh, accrue over 1,300 spotting damage. Some of that was through uh, through tracking shots. Um, in fact, I th suspect it was, uh, it was pretty much all due to tracking shots, although it doesn't doesn't really tell you from uh, from the old What Replays website. Um, crucially, however, let's, let's have a look at the team scores where we've actually placed quite um, quite convincingly in peak position in terms of XP. Uh, that's even in front of the Object 907, which um, quite clearly has, has collected substantially more damage and kills than I have. Uh, the difference is um, how you, as a lower tier tank, um, prioritise your targets. So you can place better by XP if you start shooting at and penetrating higher tier targets. In the case of the Object 907, most of the targets that it had encountered throughout that engagement had been uh, had been tiers below it. Um, in fact, I don't think we I don't think we actually encountered uh, any tier 10 tanks uh, in out in the field on Berlin. Um, I don't recall seeing the the Progetto M40, and we uh, saw the T110E3 at the end. But um, you can see we've, we've caused damaging hits on the T110E3, we've killed the Object 430, and we've caused damaging hits on the M46 pattern. Um, now, I'm not necessarily saying you should go out and start hunting all the all the top tier tanks at the expense of uh, at the expense of the lower tier ones because you're chasing the XP. But um, that's certainly that's certainly the effect that that as a bottom tier tank, if you are causing damage to tanks uh, above your tier, uh, particularly uh, more than one tier above your tier, then you can find yourself progressing uh, through the experience points chart uh, a lot faster than your um, higher tier competitors competitors <laughs> sorry <laughs> ranked mode <laughs> no that's uh, your tier your top tier your top tier teammates your top tier teammates and uh with that uh with that fluff aside um if you'd like to see your replays featured on world of tanks with pr154 please uh, give us a shout over discord or uh, contact us through one of the links below and we'll do our best to sort you out in the meantime take care out there